How's it guys? Welcome back to my channel and for those of you who are new, a triple welcome to you. So today we're going to do the 12 months of perfume tag and I was actually tagged by Claire Smith. I will link her channel as well as the specific video down below and you get to choose one perfume for each month of the year. And um, I have no clue who started this tag. I know it's been going on for I think more than a year now. So if you know or if you are that person, just let me know down below. And I'm going to do this seasonally, so we will start in December, and you will see the seasons are a little bit different, but they are inserted in each frame, so you will get to see that. So we're going to start in December, which is the beginning of our summer, and for December I chose Truth by Calvin Klein, and this is an absolute gorgeous fragrance guys i think this was launched in 2000 yeah the year 2000 this is a green fragrance it has notes of bamboo clover bergamot vetiver lemon patchouli some lily some peony some blackberry i think in there musk in the base vanilla and amber and this is just such a gorgeous fragrance um i absolutely love the fact that it is a little bit aquatic and very very green it just gives you that extra upliftment and freshness in the heat of the summer in december it also gives me a little bit of a holiday vibe as well so for january which is the hottest month of the season of summer for us i chose chelo still and guys i apologize for the light and reflection on the bottle but this is a beautiful tea-like aquatic type of fragrance. As you can see, I've used quite a lot. I've actually done some real damage to the bottle. And I've ordered a new one because I love it so much. And I mean, this is gorgeous. This has old grey tea. I'm sure water lily, some sandalwood in the base. Very spa-like, calming, zen, but fresh tea fragrance. Absolutely stunning for that extreme hot month. And love the bottle and the price is very affordable as well. So for February, which of course is the month of love, I chose Cheap and Chic Petals by Moschino. I mean, obviously, the bottle is red, number one. And this one is a little bit more on the fruitier side. It is still fresh. It's very feminine smelling, guys, and a kind of happy fragrance. And as you can see, I've used quite a lot, and this bottle is not even that old. I think it's like a few months old. And... <sighs> I mean this is so gorgeous guys it has notes of i think wild strawberry pomegranate ginger some florals like lily and iris and a little bit of musk and i think that combination of the ginger and the pomegranate and the wild strawberry oh man it's so gorgeous it absolutely has me hooked and that's why the bottle looks like that that's why i've been using it such a lot so moving into autumn or fall which starts in march um, I chose Chanel number 19 and this of course is the the older uh, formulation absolutely stunning guys not everybody will like this I love green fragrances next to orientals these are my favorite and this is beautiful this has that I think my favorite note in this is the oak moss I don't know there's just something about the leather and the oak moss that just does something to me guys and this is perfect for autumn i tested it out this autumn such a stunner in autumn performs beautifully in autumn then for um april i chose the roman night by bulgari and this is from the coltia range guys and this is an absolute stunner. I need to get myself a bigger bottle of this one. I'm so afraid that this will get discontinued as well. As you can see, I've used it quite a lot. I think this is a little 20ml bottle or 15ml. I'm unsure. Oh, guys, this is so gorgeous. This has notes of mulberry, black pepper, bergamot, some florals like peony and rose. It has moss in there. So you can see there's kind of a moss theme going on with autumn for me. Such an expensive smelling one. So for May, which is obviously the last month of fall or autumn, I chose Alien Essence Absolute by Thierry Mugler. 
Oh man, what can I say about this? This is discontinued. It has been for a few years now. Um, I have to use this very sparingly, guys, because, I mean, I won't find it again if I finish this. And this is just the 30ml bottle. And look at that juice. It's so, so gorgeous and stunning. Oh, man, this is jasmine, cashmere wood, orris root, vanilla pot, amber, um, myrrh and incense. It's such a beautiful oriental take on alien. It's absolutely gorgeous and such a beautiful fragrance to enter into the colder months. So entering into winter, starting with the month of June, I chose Chimichu, the EDP. This of course is a patchouli bomb and not everybody likes this one. But, you know, I have a lot of love for this perfume. And obviously we're going to go into more gourmand fragrances for winter. I oh, mean, this is just so good to me. It's beautiful. It has notes of pear, mandarin, orange, some green notes. I think orchid, patchouli, and then toffee. That toffee and patchouli notes in there, that combination. Oh, man, I'm just dying for that. It's absolutely stunning, guys. Moving into the heart of winter, which is July, I chose Sweet Hope by La Reve. And this is an actual dupe for Dior's Hypnotic Poison, the EDT, because I don't have that one. I'm including this one. And guys, <laughs> this is an exact dupe. I would say 95%. Yeah. I mean, I've checked the notes. It's similar on Fragrantica. So this is that almond, that vanilla, that yumminess. It's such a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Such a cozy fragrance for the winter time. Absolutely gorgeous. So in August, I chose, of course, my all-time favorite fragrance. Those of you who know me, watch my channel, knows that I'm absolutely obsessed with decadence from Marc Jacobs. As you can see, I have a little teeny beanie drop, teeny beanie, teeny weenie drop left. Man, I don't even know what to say about this. I've been talking about this for such a long time. The plum, the vetiver, the papyrus, the beautiful Bulgarian rose in there. It's just so stunning. It's so intoxicating to me. I just can't get enough of this and I'm so happy that I have a huge backup bottle of this. I mean, I don't even know how I'm going to cope without it. Entering into the first month of spring, which is September and also my birthday month, I chose Barbaria because I actually got this as a gift last year when I turned 40. And, I mean, I don't like Baccarat Rouge 540 for the mere fact that it plays hide-and-seek on my nose. And I decided to get this one. And, I mean, this. This makes me so happy, guys. This is strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, sour cherry, blackcurrant, that violet. That whole feminine twist on it makes it such a stunning fragrance. Longevity on point. My husband absolutely adores this one on me. Okay, so then we're going to go into October. And we're going to go a little bit more fruitier. And this is Glitter Fantasy by Britney Spears. This is fantasy, but with a fruity twist to it. Much brighter, much more, um, I don't know, it's just brighter and a little bit more lighter and crisper. Man, it has, you know, fruits like red fruits and plum, I don't know, plum? Guys, I think I have an obsession with plum. Plum in there, it's just a beautiful take on the original fantasy and... Just bright, happy, and just cheerful type of fragrance. Smells like pink glitter would smell like, I would think. Going into the last month of spring, which is November. Entering into summer. Be Delicious by TKNY. I mean, guys, I know this is a very crowd-pleasing type of fragrance. Some people say it's very boring. I have a little mini of it. But I think it's absolutely gorgeous, guys. I mean... It looks like a little apple. I'm just going to open it. Um, yes. That green crisp apple in there. It's just so, so 
scrumptious and yummy and mouth-watering smelling to me. Absolutely stunning for the month of November entering into the hotter months. So guys, these are the 12 fragrances I chose for the year. And I would say if I have to choose one that you can use throughout the year, throughout all of the seasons, it would probably be Burberry hair because I think it can be worn in hot weather and in cold weather. And it's a lovely fragrance. It's a lovely signature scent as well. Yeah, so guys, if you enjoy today's video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click the bell so that you know when I upload new videos. Guys, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.